Good morning guys, so I started this day in my life with a pour over coffee made in the Hario to get me all fueled up for my workday. Regarding the progress that I have made on the iOS finance tracking app, I think the biggest change that I implemented is the toggle when adding a new transaction between expenses and income. Based on this, when you enter how much the transaction was, it will actually enter it with a negative amount if it was an expense and with a positive amount if it was an income. Let me just demonstrate you this right quick. So let's say we have a transaction of expense where I bought a pizza. I will just leave these dates and times as they was. You can see it added it with a negative balance. The total for the days negative as well and the total at the top of the screen gets updated. Also another thing that I implemented was a bug where the edit screen would have come empty and now that just doesn't happen. It always gets populated. I also implemented a time regard and the transactions are based now daily descendingly on time also. Not just date and yeah those are pretty much all the changes made since i last updated you guys on this app let me know in the comment section if you have any feature ideas that i can go ahead and code up and i will show them to you in the next episodes after my morning coffee, I decided to go ahead and clean the floors a bit with the Dyson, since I was just about to do a quick workout. It's crazy how quickly new dust particles settle in, and it only gets worse if you happen to have a furry companion living with you. Here I filmed for you some push-ups as well as some shoulders and bicep work with the dumbbells. These were my final sets at the end of the workout so that is why my form is a bit off. Finally, for lunch, I decided to cook this chicken salad. I also added some croutons that I baked in the oven with some olive oil and this lemon juice with mayo dressing. I found it absolutely delicious. Did not know that healthy food can be this tasty. I encourage you to try this recipe. It will take you 10 to 20 minutes to make it. Until the next episode, I appreciate you stopping by and watching this. See you around.